coverage you can count on. Local 3 News. Learn more about what the Marion County Sheriff is calling one of the largest meth drug busts in a long time. Plus, it is a storm alert weather day. Winter weather alerts posted for the entire region. I'll break down your forecast coming up. And it's been two weeks since Nick Caligari was last seen and when he went missing. Your local news and weather starts right now. This is Local 3 News Weekend Today. Hey everybody, happy Sunday. Thank you for waking up with us here on the Local 3 News Weekend Today. The first actually morning show uh, with the new logos and the new look. I'm Angela Kim here with meteorologist Clay <laughs> Smith. Uh, and Clay, it's a very exciting day of first for us, but also a very busy day weather-wise. Yeah, we're definitely uh, busy this week. It's been yeah. a busy weekend uh, regardless, but now it is going to be uh, quite the weather day as well. We Absolutely. do have the storm alert weather day, so we're tracking the transition from rain to snow. And as you can see, winter weather alerts posted for the entire region now. Winter storm warnings in pink, winter weather advisories in purple, highest impacts likely in the pink shaded county. So the plateau already starting to see signs of that transition. So let's take a look at this system. Very, very dynamic. We're dealing with heavy snow to our east in the Carolinas, heavy snow to our west into West Tennessee and North Mississippi, and heavy snow to our north into Northern Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. So eventually that cold air is going to wrap around the system and we're going to start to see the transition across the area that occurs a little bit later for the valley, but already starting to see signs of snowflakes showing up into portions of the plateau. And like I just mentioned earlier, we had a viewer from Sequatchie County um, saying that he already has a light little slushy mix on his deck. So we're seeing that transition occurring in the higher elevations and we're going to continue to see the rain in the valley for the next several hours. And again, wet roadways in Chattanooga. So although, you know, we're above freezing, still be careful out there because wet roadways can be dangerous as well. And then later on, road conditions will likely worsen across portions of the area. But again, temperatures are starting to drop ever so slow. Slowly. So we're going to track out those impacts and what you can expect as far as accumulations coming up with your full forecast in about 15 minutes. Yeah, you can already see the rain forming on those downtown cameras, Clay. Thank you so much. Well, hey, in other stories, a developing story for all of you. A day-long hostage situation in Texas has ended. All of the hostages are alive and safe, and the hostage taker is deceased. Well, hey, again, as you probably are noticing around here, uh, there's a few di things that are different uh, around here and here in the studio. We got a new logo, a new look, some new colors. Uh, it is still the same us with, like we said, new looks. This is right here is a picture of our former Eyewitness News banner leaving on a trailer yesterday. And it's after years of monitoring what's important to our viewers, all of you here in the Tennessee Valley. We all thought a rebrand to Local 3 News felt very fitting. And you can read this full story on our new website, which is local3news.com, or you can go inside our Channel 3 app. Well, hey, time now is 7.06, and after the break on Local 3 News Weekend today, Local 3's John Martin shows us how a new charter school coming to Saudi Daisy is taking a new approach when it comes to learning. So stick with us. We'll be right back. This is the place the Local 3 Storm Alert team calls home. I was born here. I grew up here. This is where we live. So when severe weather threatens your neighborhood, our local team will pinpoint storms to keep your family safe. Accurate forecast our families count on, and you can too. The technology, the tools, and the knowledge of the Local 3 Storm Alert Team working together to make sure you're prepared. No matter where you live in the Tennessee Valley, you can count on your local weather team. Weekdays at 3 on Local 3. The health of our local communities has never been more important, and you can count on Local 3 News for the best health information, expert advice to help you stay well, live better, and raise a healthy family, tracking down new treatments and medical breakthroughs right here where you live. I'm Latrice Curry. When it comes to your health, local matters. We've got you covered with Eye on Health Reports. Watch every Thursday at 5 on Local 3 News, presented by the YMCA. Local 3 News. Coverage you can count on. Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, a new charter school is coming to Saudi Daisy and it looks to be combined a traditional classroom experience with an outdoor learning environment. Local 3's John Martin shares how the focus at Ivy Academy's Skillern Elementary will be on the body, mind and heart. 
Today I am getting an education about education. I'm with Laura Day, who is the woman responsible for a new school coming online called Skillern Elementary. Oh, well, hey, thank you so much. But hey, time now is 721. And after the break on Local 3 News Weekend today, the Mocs needed all 40 minutes in their SoCon showdown with Furman on Saturday. And the Local 3's Ben Bobick will recap yesterday's game next. So don't go away. Today's birthday salutes are sponsored by Bojangles Famous Chicken and Biscuits. When it comes to local news, we have you covered. No matter where you live in the Tennessee Valley. Local 3 News is on your side. We're working in your neighborhoods, your communities. We're listening to your concerns, your voices. Because this is our community too. At Local 3 News, we bring you more local stories from across the Tennessee Valley. It's our commitment to you. Our commitment to local news you can count on. Rachel Ray, weekdays at 2 on Local 3. Nothing shows you breaking news and stunning views from where you live like Local Sky 3. Only on Local 3 News. Coverage you can count on. Presented by CHI Memorial. Count on meteorologist Allison Pryor for accurate local forecasts you can trust. Local 3 News. Coverage you can count on. Telling your stories from your communities. A gold rush, a nationally televised game, and two teams who many picked to be at the top of the Southern Conference standings. It doesn't get much better than a Chattanooga Saturday afternoon at the Roundhouse as the Mox host Furman with the top spot in the SoCon on the line. More local stories from across the Tennessee Valley. Local 3 News. Coverage you can count on. Channel 3 Storm Alert Weather, presented by Pinnacle Home Improvements. Call Pinnacle Home Improvements for your roofing, windows, and siding needs. Count on Local 3 News for a school patrol, taking you inside local schools so you see what's happening for yourself. From reading and writing and the first day of kindergarten to getting your student ready for high school graduation, college, or career. Reporting on the promise and the challenges in local classrooms. There's nothing more important than the education of our local children. I'm David Carroll, and School Patrol is part of what makes Local 3 News coverage you can count on. Next ET. Sponsored locally by Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union. Live the life you love. Coverage you can count on. Local 3 News. Telling your stories from your communities. Local 3 welcomes Ice on the Landing. Outdoor fun for all ages. Skate now through January 30th at the Chattanooga Choo Choo. Log on to learn more. All right, everybody. Hey, welcome back. It's time now for an update of our weather. It's a severe uh, storm alert weather day, actually. And uh, Clay Smith is over in our weather center there. Clay, uh, obviously a lot to talk about, especially what's coming later this afternoon for different areas around here. It is going to be cold this week. There's just no way around it. The warmest temperature we're going to have is Wednesday, and it's only going to be 49. And then we could potentially be tacking a few more snowflakes by the end of next week. Ah, so much snow in January. I love this. Yeah, what a cool start. Feeling like winter too. here. I know. Well, hey, thank you again for joining us on our first morning show of Local 3 News. We'll have a lot more tomorrow and tonight at 6 and 11. Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Hey everybody, happy Sunday and thank you for waking up with us here on a Local 3 weekend today. Uh, I'm Angela Kim, joined here by meteorologist Clay Smith for a first new look on this Sunday morning. Hey Clay. Yeah, hey Angela. Oh, it is. Yeah, look at that, it's exciting. Uh, a lot of exciting things ongoing here at mm -hmm. Local 3. Yeah, here at Local 3, but also a very exciting weather day too, but a day that people definitely need to be cautious about as well.